Uh, you know, it's a dream come true. Come true. You know, um, I always um, dreamed about this since I was younger. So you know, just me being here and you know just doing everything just means a lot to me. You plan to do everything this week? Yes. What do you feel like you're going to be able to prove? Um, you know, just to go out there and just show my athleticism. You know, this is what the combine is. You know, it's not a lot of football work, but you know, it's you know just show your ability. Any specific goals or drills you think you'll stand out in? Um. I think the agility, you know, my, the agility drills, you know, um, you know, uh, when I was out there training, um, you know, I just, you know, just stood out, stood out definitely in the, in the, in the agility drills. Do you think that combination of size and agility you have is something that sets you apart in this class? Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm one of the biggest linebackers in this draft class, so you know, uh, being able to be that big and still be able to move is a big plus for me. Yeah, definitely. You know, I take I take pride in that. You know, there's not a lot of guys that send Columbus public. You know, be able to get this opportunity. You know, and play 15 minutes away. So you know, I take I take a lot of pride in that. You know, um, one of the main one of the reasons why I went to Ohio State is you know just to show the kids and uh, Columbus public. You know that is is um, that you can do that. You know, just the, just the work that you put in and uh, how you carry yourself. You can go ahead and play down the street. You know, dream come true. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, Devon, you know, he's a Pickerton guy. I'm a City League guy, so, you know, we always talk about this, you know, uh, hometown heroes. <laughs> You know, just my character, you know, my character is everything, you know, just me um, showing who I am, uh, you know, that they don't really know you, they know the football part of you, you know, just them knowing what you do outside of football, is, you know, it's a plus. What is it you want them to know about you outside of football? Um, you know, I'm just a chill guy, you know, uh, I'm laid back, you know, not really, you know, just out there, you know, just being the center of attention. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, the size that I am, you know, I can be a Sam outside, you know, be that, set the edge, you know, be the mic of the wheel. So all three of the uh, positions, you know, I can play. Um, either, either a mic or wheel. Yep. Um, not at all. You know, um, on a ridge, you know, it, it has a special place for me, you know. Coming out, I didn't think, you know, I would be here actually, you know, I thought I'd, you know, just be an average player, you know, with Ohio State, you know, probably get drafted, you know, late round or whatever, but, you know, I didn't expect this at all. Oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> Um, you know, just this, just my my size and the way that I play inside the uh, the two tackles. You know, um, I feel like that's one of my strengths. Um, it's playing. I, I definitely showed that this past year that I, you know I can get down there, and get dirty. You know, use my hands uh, real good. What are the biggest things you've been working on in your training? Anything you've been trying to improve on? Um, you know, I just been working on a little bit of everything. You know, um, was working out with the D line, linebackers, and you know DBs. You know, you know. Just linebackers this day, you got to be able to do all three of them. So I was just working on all aspects of my game. Uh, definitely, you know, just being aggressive, you know, um, using my hands. This From my junior year to senior year, you know, um, if you put on the film, the one thing that, that you, you know, just flashes out, you know, just the way that I use my hands and, you know, get off the blocks and uh, fill my gap. Yeah, definitely. You know, Coach Washington, when he came in, you know, uh, that's what, that's the first thing that we worked on. You know, um, he, he, you know, he watched my film from last year. And he said, "Yeah, um, we're going to work on this. Like, this is going to be your second nature. This is going to be in your toolbox." Yeah, definitely. You know, Coach Washington. You know, he's from Columbus. So, you know, uh, when I first talked to him on the phone, you know. He told me, you know, he already got high expectations of me, you know, um, just because, you know, Columbus guy, you know, um, we really take pride in, you know, getting there to Ohio State. He know how much work you have to put in just to get to Ohio State, being from Columbus. Uh, yeah, you know, I talked to them um, last two days, actually. Um, you know, the general conversation, you know, um, getting to know me, you know, we just went down um, some defense and, you know, just some things like that. Uh, no, uh, informal. <laughs> yep.
Um, that's kind of hard, but I'm like biased. So when I'm watching linebackers, you know, I'm always watching the guys that I play with. So Raekwon Millen and uh, Jerome Baker, you know, I always watch them. I'm, I can always call them up and be like, hey, what was this that you did? You know, what what did y'all do? You know, just just asking questions to them. You know, um, I was the, I was down there uh, training in Miami, so I was able to you know just go over their house and you know just chill over there and uh, just talk football with them and you know just talk about the whole process. How much did your experience at the uh, Senior Bowl help prepare you for this? You know. It, it, it helped a lot, you know. The senior bowl is just like this, you know, late nights and early mornings and, you know, long days, you know. So it prepared me mentally and physically. Uh, the senior bowl practice was just, you know, incredible. Um, that's the best part I liked about the senior bowl, you know, just practicing out there, uh, with, getting coached by the NFL um, teams. So, yeah. Uh, you know, it's different. You know, senior bowl is football, you know, football and technique. Uh, you know, well, um, here, you know, it's still technique, but, you know, it's it's different. It's a different aspect. You know, you're not doing a lot of football work. You're doing more, you know, 40s, you know, the L cone, the three cone, you know, things like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, Devon, uh, <laughs> that's my guy, you know. Um, when I first came in, you know, that was one of the guys I, you know, I talked to just because, you know, he was from Columbus. So, you know, like I said, we take pride in, you know, being the hometown heroes. Yeah, always, you know, every time I see him, you know, we, we always just do a little, like, make little face to each other, you know, just clowning. Like, he was my roommate in the senior bowl. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, you know, it's, it's very special. You know, um, I know with me, you know, I, I wasn't like, highly recruited like coming out of high school, so you know, I took pride in that, and um, you know, just to tell my city, you know, um, it's possible as long as you put the work in and, and, and do it. You said what? With Devon, um, you know, we both quiet. Me and Davon's both quiet, you know, we're not the center of attention. But, you know, when we are like around our family, our brothers, you know, we can, you know, we're just uh, our brothers. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, he can be a great player, you know. Um, I feel like Davon, you know, he could be in the league for a long time, you know, just the way that he, he, he he worked, you know, this last year, you know, he really came on, came along and, you know, uh, just in the weight room, you know, just in, in this whole leadership, you know, he it, it came along this last year. Um, so I'm biased, you know, I, I, I watch Raekwon and um, Jerome a lot, you know, that's who I really have watched this last past season. Uh, I watch them a lot, you know, just because I, I have a, a relationship with them. So, you know, I can just call them and, you know, just ask them, you know, things that happen in the game or, you know, just things in this whole process. Um, yes. Who Chase? Who Chase? Um, you know, he can definitely be that um, outside linebacker in that, like, you know, 3-4 defense, you know, definitely can. You know, Chase can, can be anything for real if he would have put his mind to. Why? What is the fact um, You know, Chase is unique, you know, just the way that he work and the, the things that he can do, you know, is different. Yeah. Um, you know, coming out of high school, you know, I didn't have a set position. So, you know, I didn't know what I would be playing. So when I found out, you know, I would be a linebacker, you know, Coach Fickle really, like, got in my ear, like, yo, you can compete with these guys. You know, the guys is highly recruited, you know. And then I had my dad in my ear, you know. My dad, no matter who, no matter if I sucked or not, you know, he's going to tell me, you know, I'm the best player out there. So, you know, that really motivated me. And then my little brother, he – he really look up with me, you know. Every position I play, he play. Uh, every number I got, he got. So you know, um, my family is the ones that really like made me like you know realize that like I can be, I can come here and be one of the best linebackers. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, back then, back then I did, back then I did, but now, you know, just my mindset now, you know, I can compete with anybody that's here, you know. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, not taking no credit from Jeff and, and, uh, and Chase, you know, they're, they're one of the best players in this draft, you know, um, but definitely, you know, I, have been overlooked, but you know I never um, lost sight. You know because it was you know it's the team thing. So you know as um, long as the right people see me, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, definitely. You know, I, I did make my name all last season. Um, you know, like I said, the right people. As long as the right people see me, I'm good. Um. Just a couple guys, you know, it can be Taraja, Baron Brownie, you know, Baron Brownie can come over and play the wheel, you know, Baron, uh, Kayvon Pope, you know, it's a, it's a lot of guys in that LB room that's, you know, has that talent. And when they get that shot, you know, they're just going to go skyrocket. Oh, yeah, you know, high school, you know, that's all I play, you know, I was, I was a starting quarterback, you know, from sophomore year to senior year, you know, just using that up, my ability out there, you know, it's just crazy. But, you know, if I were to play offense in uh, college, to be honest, I don't even know what position I'll play, you know, probably a tight end or, you know, a receiver, either either one of those. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, everything, everything happens for a reason. Um... You know, just the way that they, just the way that they carry themselves and how they work. You know, um, when I, Raekwon was a senior when I was a freshman, so you know, he was the leader. He was the top dog of the defense. So, you know, um, that really helped me a lot this senior year. And then Jerome, me and Jerome was just like this. You know, uh, that was my roommate. Like when we on game days, and you know, I always hang out with Jerome. Yeah, you know, I, I was just I, I had his crib before I came here. So that that night, um, I was over his crib, and you know, he was just telling me the whole process of this whole this whole thing. You know, that is long. You know, these um, these days is gonna be long. So it's more mental than you know physical um, leading up to the uh, draft. I mean. Um, you know, you just got to make it hard for the uh, for the coach. You know, um, if everybody's just doing their right job, you know, you can rotate. You can like you can rotate um, anybody in there, and you know they'd be just as good as a starter. Or, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you just, you just got to be patient, you know. Um, be patient, but, you know, as, as you're being patient, you got to, you know, take it, you know, you got to be just as, like, you got to be the man in front of you. You got to you know, go ahead and take that job, you know. You can't just sit back and, like, it's, the clock is ticking down. So, you know, as the clock is ticking down, you got to, you know, be aggressive and, you know, try to get out there. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I figured that out, I'd say, like, midway through the, my freshman year. You know, um, Coach Fickle, you know, he always had the eye on me as a linebacker, linebacker, linebacker. He never really talked about me about any other position. But, you know, um, just just me, just my ability, how, how, um, how I was in um, high school. You know, usually high school quarterbacks are not really aggressive. You know, I was the one. I wasn't the one, you know, running out of bounds when I'm on the sideline. I'm the one that I'm going to go ahead and put my shoulder down and get some extra yards. So, you know, uh, yeah. Um, a beast. Definitely, definitely a beast, you know. Um, a lot of people in Columbus, you know, they um, – 
they always call me humble. So uh, when they see me out there on the field, they be like, oh, that's a humble beast out there. You know, he's humble, but you know, uh, when it's time to go out there and play, you can flip that switch and be a beast. Do you do the dirty work to make your teammates look better? Yeah, definitely. You know, I, anything, to, anything to make the team work, um, team win, you know, I'm, I'm a team guy. So, you know, even if it's, you know, I'm, I'm senior year, if, if I got to go down there and kick off, you know, I'll do that just for the team. Uh, you know, I'm definitely, I feel like I'm definitely um, one of the top fives out here. You know, um, that's just me. Um, you know, other people got other opinions, but just me and how I played last year, I feel like, you know, I'm top five. Um, you know, um, because in Ohio State, I didn't really, you know, cover a lot. So definitely that. Um, it wasn't really times where I, you know, just go out there and just cover somebody. So that's definitely something that I'll say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because, you know, people like me, we're hungry, you know. Um, coming out of high school, I was I was real hungry, you know. I wasn't, you know, the big time, you know. I felt well. I didn't. I blame that on myself, you know, not being a, you know, being out there, being a five star, or things like that. But I, at the time, I didn't really care about that, you know. Um, I was just, you know, just caring about, you know, getting out there and get a scholarship. That's that was my number one goal, you know. Um, so, you know, just people like me is just hungry to come out here, you know. Being this platform and being out here, you still feel like you have that? yeah, definitely. You know, you you always gotta have that hungry into you. You know, that that will never go away from me because, you know, I always still think about what happened. You know, um, just you know, uh, my younger years. You know, just being overlooked and things like that. Being on the inside, what is more your game? Avoiding traffic to get to the ball or fighting off shit? Nah, definitely fighting off and shit off. Uh, you know, alignment, you know, that's what I showed this year, you know, my, my uh, hands was just crazy, you know, if you look at the film, like every, every time I, you know, I shock a, a alignment, his head is going back and, you know, I'm just standing my ground and, you know, I'm not waiting for them to come up, I'm hitting them at the line. Draymond, um, you know, I, I didn't know him, um, I didn't really, like our relationship started like midway, you know, well, you know, freshman, you know, you just by yourself, you know, I know me, I didn't know nobody in my class or on the team. So, you know, I was more by myself. But once I, you know, came along and, you know, I was getting to know everybody, you know, we just brothers, you know, Draymond, you know, he's a great guy, you know, every time I see him, you know, we are just always clowning. Um, you know, in high school, I, I didn't know no defense. You know, uh, I was just out there uh, on offense, just trying to, you know, just trying to score, just trying to. But um, I know that first couple weeks um, of learning Ohio State defense was, you know, kind of rough. You know, I, I came in extra just to, you know, just to get the basics down. But once I got the basics down, I was good. Did you be the emergency huh? Ah, uh, not right now, nah. <laughs> Um, so I wasn't really, I didn't have a team when I was growing up. Um, I was just more of a player person. So if I liked you as a player, you know, I'm going to like that team. So, you know, I had different players that I like. Yeah, definitely. You know, Jonah is a, is a tough guy, you know, um, what is it? The spring. I remember, you know, he'd get me a couple of times, you know, and I'd get him a couple of times. It was like more of a, you know, a, a battle every time we play, you know, uh, every time we practice, you know. Every time I, I, I see him, on, uh, if I'm on line up on his side, I'm like, all right, <laughs> it's time, it's, it's go time. <laughs> similar. similar. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure because, you know, huh? Um, you know, I'm biased, so I, I was always watching Raekwon and uh, Jerome Baker, you know, just being able to, because I can contact them guys, you know, and just ask them questions. Um, you know, Bake, you know, he, he's, 
he's a sideline sideline guy, you know. Um, and Raekwon, you know, he he can do both. So you know, just putting them two together, you know, yeah. Favorite cartoon growing up? Favorite cartoon? Absolutely. Ooh, that's a good one. Tom and Jerry, definitely Tom and Jerry. You know, even though there ain't no sound or nothing, I'm always laughing. You know, uh, just the things that happens in that in that show. Uh huh. Um. Yeah, I definitely seen it. You know, um, it's incredible. You know, that setup is probably you know the, the best one yet. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I've been to Vegas. You know, a couple of times. My sister, she lives out there. So you know, I've been out there. You know, been on the strip. You know, just seen everything out there. Yeah, yeah. That 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 setup is just crazy. I remember I was just sitting there for like 30, 40 minutes just watching the water. Huh. Um, no, you know, I, I, I always, I'm a family guy, so, you know, um, you know, I, I want to have all my family and all my friends behind me when I, when my name get called.